You made it. I hope you're enjoying the view. I never get tired of staring at it. Eternity. A thought occurs. Can anyone ever truly experience reality outside of oneself? All of time and space filters through a singular perspective. I am as much you as you are a part of everything. All points connect to here. When a star is born or dies, its existence beats through the heart of this place. The unity. I have seen all you are, have been, and could be. Do you feel like you've lived a good life? Is there anything you regret? Fair. I wonder what your decision will be then. In order to become Starborn, you must give the universe one last thing. Yourself. That intangible part of you. That something that makes you unique amongst the infinite will explode like a supernova. A part of you will fuse with the essence of this universe, while another part leaves it behind forever. Do you understand what I mean? This one final leap will change this universe forever, even as you leave it behind. Unknowingly, you just answered your own questions. For who creates things but creators? That is what they have been named throughout the endless circle of time. Are they one or many? Human or alien? Terrestrial or celestial? One day, you might even meet the creators, but not this day. As for the why, so that you could ask that very question. So that you could stand before me for time immemorial and delve into the mysterious of the unending cosmos. Much like the death of a star creates new kinds of matter, so will the part of your being become fused with the unity itself. That part is what becomes starborn and crosses into the multiverse. Through your eyes, it will be as if waking up from a dream. Walk into the gate of light, and you will become starborn. Everything will vanish, and you will awaken somewhere else. But that isn't your only potential destiny. You could turn around, walk away from the unity until the stars fade away, and you will wake up on your own ship, in your universe, you could live out the life you have. I have enjoyed speaking to you once again, all of you, every version that is here in the Unity, right now. Go out into the stars. As you consider stepping towards infinity, I offer you a glimpse into what will happen to the universe you may be leaving. As the essence of who you are is spread throughout space and time. Your lover, Andresia, eventually chooses to be reborn herself. Your commitment to each other bolsters all relationships in the settled systems. Marriages blossom. More people in House Varun begin to question its orthodoxy and look to the outside world. Your work with UC Sistef against the Crimson Fleet is a triumph of law over greed. 
the UC establishes greater security throughout the settled systems. Travelers throughout the stars will be safer. Ryujin Industries mass produces the internal neuro lamp, which becomes the killer device every negotiator, diplomat, and salesperson purchases. When people think of success, they think of Ryujin, whether they want to or not. remains in this universe, but your faith in them inspires them to seek out those they believe are worthy of finding the unity. Many noble starborn will be reborn under their guidance. Agreeing to cover up Ron Hope's crimes in exchange for credits cements a partnership between Hope Tech and the Freestar Rangers. Enthusiasm for industrial advancement grows through the Freestar Collective, a greater sense that sacrifices are necessary for the sake of economic progress grows. The Constellation membership who stays behind will in time publish their data about the discovery of the artifacts, the starborn, and the unity. Space exploration across the settled systems is given new life as people search for hope out there in the stars. <laughs>